So what is life cycle management? Life cycle management uh, sometimes is interchangeable with the acronym uh, CMS, Card Management System, or SCMS, Smart Card Management System. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain to you, I'm gonna show you a typical EMV ecosystem with card issuance. And within that picture, I'm gonna include life cycle management, which has the deliverable of data preparation. Okay, so if we represent the FI or the issuing organization, has to be a bank or a credit union with this. So this is the organization that would represent card holders. So let's say this piece of paper here, um, these are portfolios of card holders. So these portfolios of card holders are owned and managed by the, the bank or let's say CU for credit union, or even FI for financial institution. So this is your financial institution. They own or manage um, these card portfolios or por portfolios of cardholders. Um, at the second step, these card portfolios are then sent to a partner or a vendor They're sent to a, um, a, a vendor or a partner called a card manufacturer, and that card manufacturer does exactly that. They manage, they manufacture the actual plastic. Okay. So we'll just pretend this is a, these are two little smokestacks. So here we have the uh, actual card manufacturer. The card manufacturer for an EMV scenario is gonna manufacture card plastics. And these, card EM, these EMV card plastics, they could be, and again, this is my EMV chip card, my contact chip card, could be a contact EMV chip card, could be a dual interface EMV chip card, which actually includes an antenna, so it has two capabilities, contact mode and contactless mode, you'd wave it. So, any kind of profile, contact chip, dual interface chip, this is the role of the, contact, of the card manufacturer. On these chip cards, of course, you have an operating system, you have financial applications, you have memory, and all of these deliverables, operating system would be like Java, would be Multos, these are all examples. It's either a Java or a Multos operating system on the chip, on the card that the manufacturer is making. You have the financial applications, um, like from Visa, it's called Viz, for MasterCard, it's called MChip4 Select, and so on and so on. Um, and the next deliverable after the manufacturing of the plastic and the pre-personalization of this chip is personalization. Now depending upon the relationships and the vendors that are managed by the FI or the financial institution, sometimes the card manufacturing and the personalization are done under the same roof. Sometimes they're split, but most times the actual personalization of the card profiles are done out, outsourced. So let's just say that these are both done under the same roof. So personalization, here you'd have a very large piece of hardware, an actual piece of equipment, it has windows in it like this. You can actually see the cards going through the equipment. Again, you have contact chips, you have dual interface chips, you have all kinds of chips going through here, EMV chips. And what's running on this piece of equipment, and again, this could be a data card piece of equipment, a Molbauer, a um, Ubic, they all manufacture very large personalization equipment for, for millions and millions of cards. Um, there's, there's a software that resides actually on this piece of equipment um, that includes data prep or data preparation. And within the data preparation, you also have other deliverables that manage the EMV chip on the plastic like risk parameters. You have key management. You have pin management. So pin management, block a pin, add a pin, kill a pin. Pin management, I'm just gonna abbreviate with pin man. Um, we also have um, script development or script management. And again, 
In this current scenario today with magnetic stripe cards and some EMV card scenarios, again, the FI, let's make a big FI here so we know exactly their role, the FI then requests that their card holder and their card holder data with their embossing file is sent to the card manufacturer. They manufacture card plastics and they assign card holder portfolio to them. And again, could be under the same re roof, could be another partner. Then that card with the embossing file is then sent over to the personalization bureau. And the personalization bureau uh, performs a data preparation on that card plastic, which manages um, in fact, in addition, risk parameters, which basically tells that card plastic how to perform, how to function in a POS environment. So once that card is out, in public, how does this card perform? Online, offline, um, with a pin, without a pin, with a signature, basically it's, it maps out based upon the, the FI, how he wants or she wants that card to um, function in the field. Key management, pin management, script management, instant issuance. And there's, there are many other deliverables. But these are the basic ones, risk parameters, key management, pin management, script management, post issuance. So once that card is gone through personalization and it's in the envelope and it's out the door and in the in the hands of the card holder, that card is used in the field. Well, if this gentleman or, or woman blocks their card with a pin, you have to send a script basically to this card at the ATM or when the card's online to change the pin, to block the pin, to change, basically you're sending scripts. So you can imagine the whole life cycle of this actual EMV card, it, it goes far beyond when the card is created, once it hits the field. This whole deliverable right here, data prep, as well as the life cycle, is the most expensive part of EMV. Not the card plastic, not the chip, not the operating system, not the antenna, it's this piece. Mainly because once that, once that chip card has been manufactured and it's in the hands of the card holder, um, it takes on different profiles. This piece of the deliverable being the data prep, this is what Bell ID does. Bell ID is a software provider. Bell ID is a software provider that has created lifecycle management, lifecycle management software to manage the profiles of their EMV cards. And you can imagine the, the huge business case behind managing the most expensive part of an EMV implementation. And at the end of the day, the data prep and the lifecycle management of all these deliverables and even instant issuance. can be done at the issuer site. And at the end of the day, you still can keep your same partners, being that personalization bureau, that does the physical personalization, the embossing, and the, and the fulfillment of their EMV card. You can still keep that same partner, but you are in charge of your budget, you are in charge of the profiles, the amount of money being spent, um, sending changes and updates to the cards on this level. And then you are still providing that same embossing file with enriched data after the data prep has gone through, the ship has gone through to your same partners.